Hey Tiny, you ready to eat some lunch? Come on goats! Come on! Yeah, they're all... What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. I'm out here in the garden and today's video isn't really about the garden. We're going to go to the uh, Spanish goat barn. We got a little project we're going to work on. But uh, it's been a few days since I applied that neem oil and the peppermint soap to the squash plants. And they're still not looking great, but they are starting to green up a little more. And there are hardly any squash bugs around. So I'm going to say that that neem oil and that peppermint little mix that I showed you guys in that video uh, really works. So I'm going to apply another coat here in a little bit today. I probably won't put it on the video because I got a project I got to work on that I've been putting off. And it's super hot. So I'm out here in my shorts and this cut off t-shirt because I know I'm going to be soaking wet here before long. We got a little bit of an overcast but still it's still super humid here in Oklahoma. But guys look at this. <clears throat> Do you see these tomatoes here? We are having an awesome year here in the garden, and these tomatoes are some of the best we've ever grown. And for those of you that know or grew up in the country or grew up with the garden, there is nothing that beats homegrown tomatoes. These things are pretty much as big as softballs. We've already been picking some and eating them. If you guys uh, seen our last live stream, uh, let's see, Saturday night on July 6th, uh, Rachel was actually cooking some bacon on the griddle and uh sliced up some of these homegrown tomatoes and we had some bacon tomato sandwiches it was awesome it's hard to beat that all right so let's go to the shop and i'm going to talk about this next project we're starting on all right guys so i ordered this little creep feeder gate off of a uh, premier one's website and it's fully adjustable and uh i'm going to try to put this in the barn that way all our little spanish baby goats they're starting to eat the grain and all the feed that we're feeding the mama goats right now and we don't want them to get crushed or hurt because when it's feeding time sometimes those goats like to headbutt and all that good stuff so what i'm going to try to do is that stall i have in the corner of the barn i'm going to try to take that uh gate i got built on there now and put this in its place that way these little goats can uh come in and out of here i'll show you guys here in a little bit how it's adjustable so basically you have these vertical bars and then you have one horizontal bar and they're all adjustable. The horizontal bar moves up quite a bit and what this does it allows the baby goats to get in and out of here and the mama goats probably hopefully can't even get their head stuck in there. So what we'll do is we'll get a feed trough and fill it up behind this gate where all the babies can get in and eat and the mamas can't. So that way they'll have 24-7 access to feed and that way they'll be able to grow a lot faster. So let's go get some measurements from that gate that we have on there now and see how we can get this thing to work. So my plan is to keep the goats out while I'm in there working. So I'm going to try to sneak in there and get the gate closed. That way I can open the double doors up on the front of the barn and have some more uh, airflow and uh, maybe some more sunlight. So it looks like there's nobody in here right now. So let's sneak over here and get this gate closed. They hear me now, so I don't know if this is going to work. Not dinner time, guys. Sorry. What's up, Daisy? Just gotta close your entrance off for a little bit, girl. Daisy came over, she wants to know what's going on, and of course these nosy goats. And here comes everybody else, because one goat starts hollering. And there's Tiny and little Oostie. 
Usti is Tiny's new baby, for those of you that haven't watched the video of uh, us telling you about Tiny's new baby and her name and how she got it. Her name is Usti, which means little in Cherokee. And me and Rachel came out and ear tagged all the babies, so they're sporting some nice new green ear tags. Yep, there's one right there. Alright guys, so here is the stall where I'm going to start feeding these kids in. And I'm going to try to uh, take this gate off, I think, and then uh, put that little creep feeder gate in its place. I don't know if, I'm, if I need to take it off. Maybe I can just leave it to the side. I might do that. I might just leave it mounted on its hinges and just leave it open or screw it to where they can't push it shut. I can always take it off later if it doesn't work out. So, All right, so I'm going to get some measurements and then see what we need to do to make this thing work. All right, guys, so I did a little measurement. Uh, I'm going to bring that gate out here because I got an idea of how to make this work. First, I gotta get some airflow in here. It's super hot, so I'm gonna open up these double gates or doors. All right, so let's go get that gate and we'll bring it out here and take a better look at it. All right, so I did a little brainstorming, and as you can tell, yes, it's hot. I'm sweating. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. This is what I want it to look like. I want to be able to leave this gate right here on in case we want to get the kids in here to feed them. And if we need to work them, if we need to catch one easily, you know, they'll get used to coming in here. And then we can still close this gate behind them. And then we got this little area where we can catch them and do what we need to do with them. But this is what I want it to kind of look like. And I got these pins. I went ahead and ordered these pins with this gate. Get one out here. And the way this works is these slots right here, this pin slides down, and ideally you would have like another gate or some type of fencing that you can slide these through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some like one inch uh, pipe and try to screw them in right here and down there on that four by four post that way i can kind of just drop that pin in there and that should hold it but on this side i think i'm going to take a little uh, paddle bit or something to make a hole down there in that two by four and drop that pin in and then up here i'll probably just wire it shut because this is just temporary so uh i'm gonna go get so i'm gonna go get some of that pipe cut and uh see if we can't get this thing to work All right guys, so we got two six inch pieces of pipe and now I'm going to drill a couple holes in here and use a little step bit to uh, make a hole big enough on one side for a screw to go in and on the other side to get the screw head and the bit in so I can attach this to that four by four post. All right, so I got the pipe cut down and I got some holes drilled through it. So the screw can go all the way through there and uh, that, that way that that rod will still slide all the way down. So I'm going to try to get this mounted and see how this works.
so I got that pin in and that's pretty secure so now I've got to drill a hole through this 2x4 so I can drop that pin on down below that all right so I got a hole drilled through there let's see if this pin fits in there all right sure enough and I'll probably get some wire right here and just to secure that a little more but I think this is going to work out great I'm going to drill another hole over here so that pin will drop down all the way. As you can see, it's got a little bit hanging up. So, Okay, so there it is. I got the gate all uh, screwed on and wired shut up here so it's really secure. There ain't going to be no big goats pushing through it or anything. And uh, I got it raised up just a hair so that way the big goats ain't going to be jumping over it either. And I still think the little goats will be able to get over it just fine. Uh, they're not going to be getting in here anyway until you know they're three to four weeks old to eat the grain anyway And by that time their legs are going to be big enough to get over that little hump there. So uh, I Still got it to where I can keep this door closed like I said if we want to get them in here and Catch them or doctor them or anything we can still Shut this off so when they're all in here we can catch them a lot easier But for the meantime, I'm just gonna get some uh mailing wire and keep this gate shut right here so i'm gonna get this gate wire shut and then i am going to go get some uh a feed trough and see if these little guys will come in here and eat okay so i got this feed trough here and i just got it laid on that two by four to kind of keep it elevated from the ground and i'm going to fill it up with some feed i want them guys to eat as much feed as they want so the idea will be to let them come and go as they want and we'll just try to keep it cool every day for them. If they don't eat, they don't grow. One more step. And we'll see how fast they go through this. I bet it'll last a little while. Alright, let's get these barn doors shut. the mamas too so we can try to get everybody in here so they know what's going on hey tiny you ready to eat some lunch come on goats come on yeah they're all just as hot as i am out here in this oklahoma heat like i said earlier i was dry now i'm drenched so let me get some of this feed and uh sprinkle it in there feed trough here and I bet they'll start coming. I ain't supposed to be in here, girl. Now they're starting to come. Yeah, they're all coming now, so we get these mommies fed and we'll try to show the babies in the new little kitchen. Easy, girl. Hey, Tiny. Come on. Gotta get Tiny out of here first. This ain't your house no more, girl. Come on. There you go. Hey, there's food over there. Go. All right, let's see if we can't catch a baby to stick in there. Get one of these bigger guys. All right, let's see if we can get in there. Ah! 
All right, so that didn't work out so well. Uh, it's gonna take a little time before they get adjusted to that and learn that there's food in there. I stuck a couple in there and they just come right back out. Uh, they get scared when they're away from their mom. So I'm gonna let their curiosity uh, help me do the work. Uh, they'll go in there eventually and figure out that there's food and maybe the next time I get all the moms in there, I'll try to throw some babies in there and keep that gate closed. And then that way they'll be accustomed to that food being in there and then they'll just go right in every time that they uh, come to eat and right now their moms aren't even i just fed up filled up that feed trough and their moms are all out here they're not even hungry yet it's, it's a lot earlier than i normally feed them so maybe this evening i might come out and try again and uh see if they uh can figure out that there is feed in there and they will be a lot happier once they figure that out what do you think daisy you got all them fireworks are done with yeah Daisy's not a big fan of 4th of July and neither are the goats. Uh, I had a lot of people asking if the goats are scared of fireworks and yes they are. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing with guns. They don't like guns. They don't like loud noises so they'll usually go the other way. And when everybody's shooting off fireworks the goats usually head to the barn. They don't want no part of it. But as you can see while we're out here let's do a little update on some of these babies. Babies are doing wonderful. Uh, like I said, a lot of the bigger babies are now eating food. They are four weeks old. So they're already eating solid food and grain. Same food that we feed the parents, the mom, and the, the nannies, and the buck. My bad. And they all like hanging around this tree that got hit by lightning. Let's go back in the barn, guys. I want to see if you guys can use that. They don't want no part of the barn right now. It's too hot. Of course, you see their ear, their ear tags, the green little ear tags we marked them with. Go back in there and eat your lunch, guys, or that buck's gonna eat it all. He don't need no extra feed right now. You guys do to make the milk. So here's the hole that the lightning hit, and all these baby goats love playing in this hole. It's funny. Alright, so I came back out and I fed the moms again and you see me, I got three of the babies in there. So I'm going to give them just a little bit of time to play around in here and see if they notice their food over there and hopefully they'll get used to knowing where their food is and they'll come in and out of here. So. Okay, so as you can see, one of them has found the food and he's stuffing his face. So hopefully, if I can do this for a couple days, hopefully uh, this will help train the others into uh, knowing where to go for the food. And they can get all the food they want. Because I'm going to try to keep that full for them. You still got a couple in here that's stubborn. And either they're not hungry or they don't want no part of the food right now. They're probably scared. So Tiny's really taking interest into this gate and I do believe she can fit in there which I'm fine with that if she wants to get in there and eat a little bit because some of these other goats 
like you guys know, are kind of mean to her, so she don't always get to eat all she wants. So she can get in there, that's fine with me. Maybe she'll teach some babies how to get in and out of there pretty easy. Can you make it, girl, or are you a little too thick? I bet you can make it if you really want in there. Yeah. Alright, so now you got two of them that's eating the food. I guarantee you once they figure out that the food's in here and uh, they can get in here without the big ones bothering them, they'll probably figure out how to get in and out in a hurry. Alright guys, so that's pretty much uh, the video I got today. I just wanted to share that with you of uh, me putting that gate up and trying to get these uh, babies to figure out how to get to the feed. That way we can feed them 24-7. They can have all the food they want because their moms will start weaning them here pretty quick. Uh, and that will allow the moms to get a little bit of a break if the babies can eat a little bit of the solid grain and such. And the mom's milk production can slow down a little bit. And they can put on a little more weight. So that's ideal. They're right at a month old now, so it's time for them to start eating. Things are going great. They're growing fast. They'll grow a little faster if they can start eating some of this higher protein grain. Uh, they have been eating in the feed trough with the adults right now. But it's very limited on how much they get and plus the adults can be a little mean so we don't want them to get hurt. So uh, I waited. I think I went out there and got that done this morning. Now it's in the afternoon. So I waited four or five hours before I went back out. And they still weren't in there. They're still all out grazing and all that. But when I fed the moms they came. I caught them, put them in there. So we'll continue to see what happens in the next few days. So hopefully in my next video I'll have an update on whether these little goats are using that creep gate or not so they can go eat all the feed they want. So guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and we'll see you next time.